So I'm just going to start this out with a trigger warning. So we're going to be talking about grape and that triggers a lot of people for obvious reasons. So I want you to scroll on if this is hurtful to you. So welcome back to Client Stories with Amy. So this case is one that we got in 2020. I'm going to kind of read to you what she told us when she came through intake. She says, I just took a DNA test a few years ago and I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I think that my dad is not my dad. My mom is Mexican, my dad is white, and he passed away when I was a little kid. When I did the test, the math wasn't mathing too much with my whole story my entire life. Things were not adding up with what I was told. I didn't recognize anybody from uh, my dad's side of the family. When I got my matches back, I could see my mom's side, but I could not see anybody from my dad's side. Um, my first cousin took the test and we did not match as first cousins. The only other names that I can see, I have no idea who those names are. I have very high matches that are first cousins. I don't know who these people are. I need help. So we took our case, and like I said, this was from 2020. Um, uh, December 2020, I think is when it was. November or December. And so we took that case. We worked the matches, and she was completely Mexican. Like, her paternal side was Mexican, and she thought her dad was white. So that was a red flag right off the bat for her, too. So we get in there and we start getting the matches together. And like I said, she's got first cousin matches and they're from Mexico and I could not get any family information out of them. And I could not link them via records to other people. I knew where she kind of belonged in this tree. It just wasn't lining up. So we continued to kind of look at her case off and on through the years. And last night we got some news. She figured out who it was. Her aunt finally came clean and said, this is who it is. She got a hold of the aunt on the biological dad side. She came clean about who everything was, told her about everything. And um, her mom had told her previously after like this whole time. So in 2020, she didn't know anything. She started asking questions to her family. And sometime between 2020 and um, yesterday, her mom actually told her what had happened with the conception. She was scraped and um, it was very traumatic for her and obviously reasons, right? And so she just put everything out of her mind and um, the person that raised her client as her dad knew and raised her as his own and loved her knowing that she wasn't his and never treated her any different. So he was a stand-up guy for sure and who she loved dearly. So mom had said that she was scraped and that was her biological father. She didn't know anything else. The biological father side of the family, the auntie, confirmed everything. Yes, you are probably my niece and here's some information on him. He actually passed away while our client's mom was still pregnant with her back in the 70s. So he was already gone before she was born. Um, they don't know if there's any siblings. Auntie won't tell if there's any siblings and Auntie has asked the client to get this. Don't contact anybody else in our family. If you need any information, I'll give you what I can. Do not contact anybody else in our family. We don't want them to know that you exist and we don't want them to know. So they're asking our client to keep this secret. Like, it's not her secret to keep. Like, he did something awful. It's awful. Absolutely horrific. And they're telling her, yeah, he probably did that, but keep your mouth shut. His mom's still living. We don't need her to know any of this. And I get them trying to protect their mom, but at the same time, you're protecting a rapist. Like, that's who he was. Like, how are you going to tell this person that has been battling this trauma of her own and plus her mama going through what she went through but this, this client has been grappling with trying to figure out this whole NPE situation this is the person that raised me as my dad I love him so much oh my god he's not my dad where are those matches who are these people where are these first cousins coming this is my family but who are these people and knowing what happened to her mom and how she came into this world and you're telling her to keep it a secret I don't know I have thoughts on this let me know in the comments your thoughts on this and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to hit like, follow, and share and 